All right, so next thing we're gonna work on is our forehand and backhand cut and slice dinks. And the reason why we wanna cut and slice these dinks for pickleball and what we wanna do with them in a match. So if I'm gonna start off going forehand to Clint, we're gonna go forehand back and forth. First and foremost, how are we gonna cut this? Every shot right here up at the kitchen line when we're doing these forehand and backhand cuts, everything starts with our shoulder. So I'm gonna use my, I'm right-handed, my right shoulder acts as a pendulum. So I'm not gonna really move my wrist too much, I'm not gonna move my elbow too much. I'm gonna set my angle nice and early, so when I cut that ball forehand, I'm just gonna slice through it. So my shoulder is almost acting as a pendulum. So as I cut through this right here, I'm gonna let the paddle face do the work, and I'm gonna trust that my angle and my pendulum right here is gonna do the work for me as well. And the reason why we wanna do this forehand and on the backhand is to eliminate what? And it's eliminate the wide ball. So if I give Clint too wide of a ball, what's he gonna do at a high level? He's gonna go around the post. And that's why when we work on forehand rolls and backhand rolls, we have to be careful of where we wanna put this. With the cut, more or less, we can put this wherever we want into the three thirds of the kitchen because what's gonna happen is when we put that backhand cut or slice on it, the ball's gonna act almost like a golf ball that puts backspin on it. It's gonna check up a little bit and not roll too wide. So Clint and I are gonna go forehand, forehand here. All right, good right here. And I'm just gonna cut right through it. Ball checks up nicely. Checks up nicely right there. It's all right. Good. Oh, a little high. There it is right there, right through. Nice and low. And you see as every ball that we hit is gonna hit and it's gonna kind of check up. So as I go to Clint with this forehand, I hit it and it checks up right there. He hits it, checks up. Good. And again, too, what I want to do, I'm going to keep that ball nice and low and put that ball right at his feet when I can. Right there. All right. Good. That's it. Just a little lower. There we go. That's it. Cut right through it. That's the one. Good, that's great pressure. That's the one. Good, last one. Oh yeah, that's great pressure right there. Now we'll flip to the backhand side. We'll see what Sean's got here. All right, that's exactly what all great return there. Look at that, keep that nice and low. Beautiful. As we're both hitting these, again, you can notice that they just kind of check up right there nicely. So see how long Sean can last. He doesn't know this is my bread and butter right here, it's my backhand. I'm sensing Sean likes his backhand too. He's dotting corners on me. I like it, but again, see that? He's hitting them deep, but again, they're not allowing me to go around the post because of the backspin he has on it when it hits that ground. So again, right there, it's such a good job. But again, it's that whole pendulum action. We really wanna focus on that shoulder where we come through not much wrist at all, if any, as we come through both on that forehand and that backhand side.